Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. All right, we're coming in with Empire. I swear it feels like it's been way longer than two Dude. weeks. Yeah. Like, yeah, I can't get with it tonight. But anyway, Master or What Is Mine On? Yeah. Um, I'm going to say this right off the bat. Um, I was a little bored, and then it got real like, hold on, wait a minute. Where are we right. going with this? Yeah. And can I fight Candace right now? Yeah. Yeah, she need her a whooped. Yes. So if you all are not a family member of the channel, which means you're simply not subscribed to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Look, 2018 is about to end. In 2019, I might just start charging for these freaking subscriptions. Yeah. So go ahead and get in so we can grandfather you in when we start charging. Yeah. That way you'll have to steal the free 99 rate. You know how it is when you got your phone bill and they keep going up, but they can't put yours up because you're grandfathered in. That's how we're going to do y'all. Go ahead and rate the video. Thumbs up, thumbs down, like I yeah. already say. If you made it to this point, you've already been counted. Don't matter what you read. So, let's get on into this here. Right. Let's get on into this. And uh, before I get started, I just want to say, hope y'all had a happy Thanksgiving. Yes, we did. Hope do. you enjoyed time with your family. We did. We thank you for all the Thanksgiving, the love that you sent through social media. Yes, God. Appreciate y'all all. And now we're uh, back in the gym. Now, yeah, we're back in the gym trying to burn all them calories off. <laughs> So uh, we pretty much still where we at trying to get the Lions family management off the ground. And we got some more drama to add to the drama that's already existed. Last review we was told y'all we was like, okay, Lucius is walking around a little too good on this leg. What in the <laughs> hell is this leg? Why they started the episode off with him pulling the leg out of the goddamn drawer and putting it on? I think y'all recorded that bus get and over the in. over the two week break. <laughs> I said, really? Yeah. And then, after you put the leg on, he still was walking just the same. I said, boy, you get around good on that leg, yeah. bud. You get around good. That's what money do. Well, no, it ain't what money can do for you because he ain't got none. So he must have been in the gym uh, doing some exercise on them legs. Yeah, rehab ain't no joke here. So we still, while they still trying to get the elephant off the ground, we still got Kingsley acting a A. Man. I, I tell y'all, it's time for that cat to go. He, he just, it's almost like right now he don't even fit uh -uh. tech mobile music industry. No. Uh -uh. Now, I understand that they're trying to, you know, flip the storyline with his mama being on drugs, getting pregnant by Lucius and having him. That's all well and good. But the part with him trying to destroy Empire, I, I ain't feeling it. Yeah, it's that. like yeah. cutting your nose off to spite your face. Exactly. Exactly. So, he in a business meeting. And his strategy, personal strategy, mm -hmm. is to vote got on Lucia's music. All the videos from the live streaming and the freaking that. commercials. He's gonna take them take them off YouTube, gonna take them off Twitter. <laughs> and everywhere he is on the us, he wanna vote them. So homeboy in the meeting said, hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute. Yeah. This makes no freaking sense. No and sense. And it was effective immediately. Homeboy said, ho ho ho. Y'all remember when Disney voted a whole bunch of their skit? What they did was they let the public know. Exactly. They created a buzz. They exactly. created an urgency so that money would go boom, boom, boom. Exactly. And then he shut it down. Exactly. He said, this right here don't make no sense. See, that was his little deal. After homeboy had said he was going to take his family uh -huh. to Disney, have a good time yeah. on the spring break. He said, oh, that, that costs money, don't it? Well, you won't have none because now you're fired. You He's spoke fired. out of turn. I said, this little ninja got to go. Say, can't handle no truth. Okay. See, see, he need to learn from Arby's. See, I, I don't know if y'all into freaking Arby's fish sandwiches, man. A lot of people don't know about Arby's fish sandwiches. Yes, yeah, but see what the Arby's fish sandwich, see, when they come back in stock, you're going to go there like every week because you know, like in a month or two. It's gone. It's gone. That's what you need to do, Kingsley. If you want to... Freaking make some money, pull it back for a while, then push it back out there. Pull it back, but we know they ain't your angle. Mm -mm. Because when Lucius came over to confront you after Becky came to the house, it was like, Lucius, I just want to give you a heads up. I'm about to snitch. Yeah. Uh, Kingsley about ready to vault your music. Lucius going to a panic because he was like, that's the, the residual money that we've been living off of. Say, what you're not going to do is Cosby show us now. Yeah. 
<laughs> no. And of course, we know Kingsley already know that, that that's the only income that they trying to depend on because they trying to get this business off the ground. So Lucius, uh, Candace tell, I mean, Cookie tell Lu uh, Lucius, don't go over there and confront him. But we got know, this like yeah. telling him, go over there, make a left at the light, make yeah. a right, park at the front, go jack him up and go jack him up. Cause he was like, we can't, we can't turn this into a personal thing right now because we trying to get our business off the ground. Cause you know that Lucy's is gonna take it too far. You somebody gonna, gonna get, gonna get, gonna, I guess to get dead. Somebody, get somebody gonna get killed. Get dead. And somebody's gonna end up in jail, which is gonna be him. And they're gonna be back to square one. Except for it's gonna be flipped this time. He gonna be behind bars and Cookie gonna build a goddamn business. And Andre gonna kill somebody. Exactly. Cause he just itching to kill somebody this season. And what he do, the first chance he get, he go over there and confront him about it. And I said, okay. which I think I probably would have did too. I would have did the same thing. And but, the thing about it was when he popped up over there, Lucius quickly realized this makes no business sense at all. Not at, not now. So he was like, "What's your angle? <clears throat> What's your angle? Because you either you have a great supplemental income coming in that's going to replace that's the money uh -huh. that you're going to be losing by shutting me down, or this guy this has another angle that is in business." Yeah. So he knew it right off the bat, but he couldn't put his finger on what the heck it was. But because Keith's living back the butt all around the office, now you got Giselle and Becky teaming mm -hmm. up. Now I don't know who can trust who, or do they even trust each other? But at this point, they really don't have nah, a choice. Nah, they look out for their own. Because they have right a now. common enemy. Yeah, they have. And they they, want that's to why they're working together. together. Yeah, that's the only reason why they're working together. And they're like, hold on, what's this all about? That Giselle. Put some soldiers on the ground. Yeah. And she got the information. I said, oh, Lord Jesus. Yep. And on top of that, when, when um, Lucius confronted him, he let it be known that it was personal. Uh -huh. He said, you want to know why I'm really vaulting your music? Uh -huh. He said, because I want to extinct you <laughs> from the entire world. I want to wipe you from everybody's from mind. memory. I was like, like, what? That's real personal. That's personal. That's personal and some evil booze get me. What? Wow. So yeah, Lulu knew. Lulu was like, okay, this skit is personal and I don't know what it is. D did I piss on him? Back in the day, did I yeah. skit on him? <laughs> did I eat the last bit of Cheerios on the box? I mean, what the hell? What the hell? But like you said, Giselle did her little detective work and you know met with that girl and, and she found out that pretty much that's Lucia's son, and she confronts him about it. We don't know where that's gonna go. Looks like that's gonna pop up in next week's episode. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. Pretty much now she's shaking him down, but like I know who you are. Don't play with me. Let's talk about my money now. Yeah. Cause basically you don't want everybody to know what I know. Exactly. So I'm like, uh, Kingsley still has to go. As juicy as the storyline is beginning to be. Yeah, he don't fit no more. I just, yeah. He like, don't, yeah, it's almost like it's time for him to be eliminated. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's extinct. Exactly. <laughs> oh my God. So, of course, Lucius, Andre, and Thirsty in the office strategizing on how they gonna get Kings and trying to figure out what revenue stream he gonna be using to make up for this millions of dollars that Lucius, Law, Lucius Lion catalog is bringing into Empire. So, <laughs> while they <laughs> were talking, say. Andre was on the phone with his boo, and uh, Lucia was like, oh, so you putting your girl before business now? And hang on Thursday. What, what, is she real? Is this one real? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Andre said. That couldn't have been in the script. He I, said, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> oh, and is this Casual Fridays now? Yeah. <laughs> I said, Thursday. <laughs> That's why I love me some Thursday. Them one ladders they hit you. So they strategizing on, okay, how are we going to get into Empire? We actually need somebody on the inside. And of course, Thursday thought about Becky. Mm -hmm. So she met Becky over at the, at the, at the Donald. You know, he had a plate of fries. And she said, I'm oh, not doing carbs anymore. He, he said, oh, well, I don't, I don't see that. <laughs> <laughs> Becky look good this season, though. Yeah, she do. She do. That hairstyle worked for her. It wouldn't, it wouldn't work for everybody. Uh, uh, cookies that, work for her too. Yeah, cookies work the for her too. The door explore. Yeah. But it don't work for everybody. Nah. I tried work. to do it one day and I said, mm mm. My hair too long like these and not like these. There you go. <laughs> there you go. But well, my hair is long. 
It's long this way, but not this way. And nobody didn't see your long head until you just said something. I don't something give about a rat say I'm beautiful. I'm yeah, I don't know y'all. But someday you just don't let people know. Let them, let them figure it out on their own. I don't give a rat say. <laughs> <laughs> so, what their strategy was to get Becky to put a flash drive and got doing Kingsley's computer so Andre, quote Andre, can abstract the file to see where what the financials are at Empire to find out where this extra money gonna be coming from. But let me tell you something, let me go ahead and put this plug in. Yeah. Andre could be anywhere in the world. Andre could be doing anything. But Andre is so conveniently placed where he needs to be every time some bullshit with business goes down. Yup. He the right, he They be like, da, 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 da. I'll just say, do you know what this means? This means that all of our revenue is gonna be shut down right now. I'm like, Andre is always where he needs it to he be. He their fallback plan, He's man. Like a good neighbor, stay uh, from the Andre <laughs> is there. <laughs> I don't know who is worse, him or Cookie. Andre. <laughs> <laughs> Andre, for sure. <laughs> Definitely Andre. So, Becky goes over there. And she pedaling around in the office. I'm like, Becky, you moving a little too slow. Hey, you gonna get caught. You moving a little too slow. You, you don't know where his CPU is. You know, you work there. You ought to know where that's at soon you walk through the door. So, he catches her. What you doing in here? She was like, I'm looking for my Christmas bonus. I said, I said, you gonna you fall fell for, for that? that? It's like, what? So, she snooping around your office. Well, whatever. So, she act like she dropped her purse. So that she can get the flash drive out of it. He told her, I'm going to double your income. Since you got my back, I'm going to double your salary. I said, oh, Lord, Becky, don't fall I said, for and it. And I was like, uh-oh, she yeah, ain't going to do, do it. it. But she went on and slipped it on in the back. She was like, motherfucker, I don't trust you. <laughs> she went on and slipped, slipped it on in the back. And then we flashed over and we see Andre then picked up the information. And he's looking in the dark hole to find out what the hell Kingless is doing. Then he see these secret files. And the secret files is this joker is selling Empire and streams using information to the goddamn feds. Like a good neighbor, Andre is there. <laughs> and they would never found the information that wouldn't fall Andre. Because uh -uh. the files were secret, so he had to dig with the files of files. files. He went yeah. to the file walls and all of that to get to that information. So Kingsley had, because he since he's a tech person, he knew he, how to he do know, it. He knew how to hide it. But, but you are Andre? no match. For Andre line. Man, got the Andre boy know how to do everything. He know how to get out of jail. He know how to put you in jail. He know how to do your taxes. <laughs> he can kill you. He know how to get through firewalls. Don't buck with Andre. He know how to kill people. He see people. Yep. He date fake women. I mean, he got it all. His wife keep coming back. And she been <laughs> dead for a while. I ain't even give her no fuel. She been dead for a long time. Andre the man. But I said, I said, Jesus, ain't it? I said, ain't that the bush get that, uh, I don't know if it's over or not, that, that freaking on a Facebook, uh, uh, Mark Zuckerberg, ain't that what he was getting in trouble for? Yes. Selling Facebook users information to the feds so the feds can track us. Well, maybe uh, that was part of the plan to bring it to light. Or to expose it. He just didn't on. say his name. <laughs> <laughs> but don't he kind of resemble, he has the Mark look. Yeah. <laughs> and tech mobile. Uh-huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah, that's what he was doing. I see what you're doing, Lee Dan. You should try, you know, so we won't forget about what Mark Zuckerberg is doing. Mm. So be careful with your Facebook information, man. Don't put too much personal stuff out there. And y'all stop doing them goddamn quizzes and all. You know it's collecting data. Oh, it's collecting data. Say, what's your that's favorite why color? You what's your personality? <clears throat> Let's see what your hair color would look like. And you just upload a good old profile of yourself and they change the yep. color of your hair. And the whole time they're collecting data on y'all there. Yep. And y'all stop doing them as accessories. DNA kits too. Yeah, they're getting you. And you're giving it all to them for free. For free. For free. And they're selling it. Your them. spit is in a goddamn database. Yep. For real. And they're selling your stuff for millions. So you want a DNA kit, you better go into your doctor and tell them to do a, um, a blood um, draw. Yep. They'll be able to track that earth down. So uh, we see uh, Miss Maya decide she want to pay Cookie a visit. Because now she homeless because her and Evan done broke up. Cookie said, why don't you go back to your mama and your daddy house Tell since a, you got a good, you from a good, good home. And she give the perfect black response is that we ain't getting along. <laughs> Not my problem. 
Not my problem. Did you did you see what you did? Well, you know what you did to cooking. Well, she was trying to help you. And you was basically spitting her face. Now you want to live with her? I understood it, though. Cookie did go and turn that girl life upside she, down. I mean, she did, but she didn't have to be so goddamn disrespectful, <laughs> man. No, she didn't. I agree. Yeah, she was too disrespectful. And now you bring your disrespectful tail over to her house. Come on. Yeah. Come on. Say so what goes around comes around. Yeah, that's why when somebody treats you like skit, just... You know, just be humble for that moment, because that's get coming back. That's why Grandma said you don't ever burn the bridges, because you never know if you had to recross. Hmm. And of course, I knew Cookie with her gullible tail. I always want to be Captain Save Everybody. Mm -hmm. Took her in, but she said, you can come in here, but you can't do some work. You ain't going to sit around here all day and do nothing. I said, is you going to ever let Lucius know that this gal is here? Mm -hmm. But the thing about it, it was Andre or uh, Jamal, they could sit around and do nothing all day because them boys can do oh, that. Oh, yeah, some about mamas and them boys. Yeah. Don't get me started. Them boys <laughs> can get 20 girls pregnant and live in the house and smell their feet, smell like corn chips all day. <laughs> they, but he he is he works hard. He's yeah. a hustler. And one day he going to get his break. But that girl go out there and get pregnant huh. and take care of that baby. I don't know what you think you about to do, but you're not going to lay up in <laughs> here. So you cut and, off. What? Cut right off. What the fuck? Yeah, cut right <laughs> off. But it's different for daddies and girls. Them boys, you gotta go. But that girl, man, that's my that's my princess. You can't touch a hair on her head. Nope. How much money you need? You need a new handbag? <laughs> <laughs> this gonna be okay. That that is it's the crazy dynamic. So uh we got Mr. Uh Kai and his feelings because uh Jamal was on national TV and he excited now about getting married. And he tell, puts it out on national TV that him and Kyle is about to get married. And when he said it, you see Kyle in the background. Kyle. Kyle, Kyle I mean, yeah, Kyle. Because <laughs> you know, it, 20 people go crazy yeah, with the uh, comments. It doesn't matter. Kyle, Kia, Kyle is all the same. But uh, his face broke. And I was like, so you were ashamed? Your, yeah, so you were ashamed. And I was like, but you just was on him because he didn't he let his mom. It. Yeah, he hit it and didn't let his mom and them know. So I was real confused. So I was like, okay, now he's excited and telling people, now you now pissed off. Broke up. But when he got home, we found out what it was. His pride got in the way. He said, I'm so used to telling the story and not being a goddamn story. I don't think it was pride. I wouldn't say it was pride. I think it was more of, I don't want to be the Jay-Z to your Beyonce because mm -hmm. I got my own and I, I work hard for the accolades pride. that I have. No, no, no. It's don't take away my achievements based on who I'm with. Because now we're a collective force to be reckoned with. Mm -hmm. But now, don't do me like that. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but now, I have to be the Jay-Z to your Beyonce. I'm Jay-Z. Mm -hmm. But now that I'm with Beyonce, I'm Beyonce hoods. That's what Kai was basically saying. No, 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 no. I've been, I've been the man in my, in this skit for a minute and a half. Mm hmm And now they know I'm with you. Now I'm, I'm Jamal's fiance. Not Kai. With the pop star. Yeah, not Kai the journalist. Not Kai that almost got killed in another country. <laughs> not Kai that survived without a telephone. You know we can't survive without phones these days. Not that Kai. Jamal's fiance. <laughs> but that's still a pride issue. It's not. It, it is not. It's let's, put it, let's put it to you this way. Being humble. It's taking the low road so somebody else can take the high road. But this is not a... But what you said, no that, which, with your, your explanation, Kai don't want to go on the low road right now. He want to still be the journalist, like you said, everything you said is 100% correct. I'm but he's battling with his pride and ego, man. It's, 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 he gonna get over himself, don't he? gonna get over himself. Why am I taking this personal? Yeah. Because <laughs> you're not seeing what I'm saying. But it'd be like if when we got together, say if you was the first lady of the United States of America. Yeah. Oh, you worked in the White House. You just put it Go, that girl, way. say you go ahead. You worked in the White House, man. You was making six figures. Uh -huh. I came in your life. I'm making twenty thousand. Like twenty thousand. Yeah. Yeah. So everybody know who you is. Uh, and nobody don't really know me. They shouldn't. Yeah, they don't know me. 
But I come in and you tell everybody that I'm your husband and I get mad because I don't want them to know that I'm the little your little pee hawk in the corner and you decided now that's who I am at the time. This is and not apples I, to apples. And then I get pissed off because you told them about me. <laughs> that's my pride to kick in and be like, no, I don't want dear everybody in the world to know that you better than me. And I'm supposed to be the man. I know it's not apples to apples, but I'm trying to make you see the pride, but I don't think it's going to happen. No. It's what y'all think? We have to agree to disagree on this one. And we're just going to move forward because that's what married yeah. people do. Is yeah, that's what we do. Yeah. Does it matter? <laughs> no, it don't even matter because <laughs> empire ain't even real. <laughs> that's how you test it. A whole argument get ready to start. They get pissed off over a storyline that ain't even real. I got a little upset because you act like you didn't even see my point about it. I see it. your point. Okay. Do you see my point though? I, I see your point. Okay. But I don't think it's pride. Okay. okay. It's about give me my due. Don't, don't, don't freaking Michelle me. <laughs> don't Michelle me to Kelly and Beyonce. Don't do that. Because I'm good on my own. Alright. Why did it end this way? You, you good? No, I'm a little heated. You good? Do I need a fan you cool you off? No. I'm good. <laughs> so, this is the part right here that you ought to be pissed off about. Eh? It's Candace. Oh, no, no. We got to go back. Because, now that we, see, now that we don't solidify that Kai is somebody, um, what did Lulu them have to do? Because once they realized what um Kingsley was doing and the files that uncovered that they doing this all this stuff with the feds, mm -hmm. then them themselves couldn't out themselves by saying <laughs> we So y'all doing this for y'all doing this for personal gain. Which and is true. So they was like, we need a credible <clears throat> news source to put this out to the public to let them know that listen, y'all scared us out on Front Street. And guess where they had to go? To the journalist Kai. and get him to take on the story. So and I knew he was like, gonna do it. I knew he was gonna do it. Kai was like, ah. And Jamal didn't want Kai to take the story because nope. he was like, don't get wrapped up in my family. Yeah, because you get ready, you ready to take some hits that you don't even know. Now about. this is when I will say that Kai's pride did get it away because Kai was gonna take that story whether or not they were talking about Lucia's toenail clippings. Oh, he yeah. was gonna take that story because he got to prove a point. He got to get back on top. But he are, like, yeah. He already on top, but he gonna prove a point that I'm not just Jamal's man. I'm a journalist. Exactly. So the pride is still in there, man. It it came up at that point. Okay. Can we agree on that? Okay, we can agree on that. All right. It well, doesn't you still matter. have you still have a little piece of pride that <laughs> when they're now. I think maybe I got some pride because I don't want to let it go. Yeah, that's pride. <laughs> Okay. I'll, live. I'll live. But as I said previously, you should be mad at Candace right now. I understand that you mad about Franklin being in the institution, on meds, etc., etc. But your sister knew he has a problem, but she didn't know that he takes that problem to that extreme. So he was actually, she was trying to save all of y'all. Yeah. And you just don't see it that way. And you're going to end up comparing her or comparing Franklin to Andre. Hey, you ever called the cops on Andre? She was like, no, because Andre ain't never did nothing like this. And she said, oh, the crazy convict. Hmm, no. I was like. Him and Franklin are totally different. They totally And I was different. like, hold on. But I understand what Lee Daniels was doing here. They're showing the spectrum. But. All mental illness is not deemed the same. It's not, yeah, it's not. You know, you have somebody like Franklin that will snap and be a danger to the people that he's very close to. Mm -hmm. You have Andre that can be a danger to himself Self. Mm -hmm. or somebody that has really done something to, to him. him. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah, that, that, that was a big eye opener. But at the same time, Candace, really? Yeah, that, it didn't. It didn't require you to come over to Lucia's them house and reveal that pertinent information that you know was so dear to your sister. Yeah. That she was keeping that a secret to protect herself from a man that she don't know she can trust right now. Because of all the skit that he's put her through. Yeah. 
and she come over tell me some you came and you, you ruined my life now so I'm, now i'm about to wreck your hair lucius here's your ride that's, or die that's different man and gonna bring up four million dollars the condo that she has behind your back yep. so now lulu don't lost his mind so lie. you mean to tell me i don't mortgage this house to do this showcase to <clears throat> we've been up in here sweating like pigs during the summer <laughs> and get ready to freeze like hell in the winter and you mean to tell me that you were sitting on four million yeah for real, and, and he's not, think, he not thinking about all the bugs get that he done did. Exactly, he's not thinking so about that. So everything you did, but she's supposed it that that's not supposed to be a part of her thinking process whenever she makes decisions with you. But see, they go to pride again. See, by Candace busting in there revealing a secret that she wasn't supposed to tell him, ignited his pride because he felt like okay, we're supposed to be a team, we're supposed to be trust, we're supposed to be building something, but you hiding this from me. Yes. Yeah. I was hiding it from you from your previous freaking track record. Like we is right now, we broke. So if this all crashes, at least we got somewhere that we can go. Yeah, we can pile up in the condo. But if we sell the condo, we lose everything. We ain't we we just we out. I said we're well, done. But that's what you find though, when people get, get mad, man, they get dangerous. Yeah. They get real dangerous, they don't be thinking. Like she didn't reveal none of your secrets. Mm -mm. She thought she was she doing was, she the was right she was protecting, thing. Yeah. I mean, she did. She did the right thing in this instance. It was, it was a lose lose. Mm -hmm. But you ain't had to take it this guy doing far. Exactly. And the thing about it is, Cookie should be the person that you pull the closest to because she does have a son with mental illness. Exactly. She has a mother in law with mental illness. So if anybody you can talk to. Yeah, they're not the same, but y'all be able to talk about some skit yeah. after you get over yourself. Come on now. Yeah, they're going to do that. And now you're going to ruin the sisterhood. Yep. What? Yeah, it didn't. It just didn't, didn't make no sense. But they also brought up the point that <clears throat> when you have mental illness, all the doctors want to do is strap you down and, and, and medicate, medicate you. you. That's so that's why do. a lot of people don't want to go anywhere because... Mm -mm. I mean, it just basically means that your mind is sick. Your mind, your brain is not functioning the way that it should. And everything doesn't have to be healed with medicine. That's right. What? You got all these zombies walking around here. But just think about it. Um, because we have um, different of the um, special needs kids that visit our job. Mm -hmm. And when they come, people fall in love with I love them. them. Yeah, I mean, they bring joy to the atmosphere. So it can be a stressful atmosphere, and they just put a smile on your face, man. So I, I just think that God has placed them here for a special purpose. We might not understand it, uh -huh. but it's almost like they're trying to use a drug to suppress their genius. They're genius. They genius. Because some ones we got around, they're like, and they'll come up, oh. And I just, just love them. Do, I just love them. They're do what super they do. smart. They are super smart. They have really, <laughs> they have really high IQ, man. <laughs> Remember that day? Because we have one at the job and he thinks he's a pimp. Yeah. Like, every week he tells me, I'm going out on a date this weekend. So one day he wore the suit to work. I don't know if it was his daddy's suit, uncle suit, what it was. But it was too tight. The sleeves on the, on the shirt was up here. <clears throat> and he couldn't tie the tie. Yep. So he walking through the hall and me and Stella, y'all know, we work in the same building. And we were walking around on our break. He stopped Stanley. He said, hey, my man, my man, can you tie my tie for me? So Stanley tied his tie for him. He popped his collar. He said, yeah. I'm ready to go now. Go take, these, go take these pictures. He said, I'm about to take these pictures because I'm about to be on TV. Watch. And I said, he spoke that in existence. I came back to work two weeks later. They said, did you see such and such on TV? Mm -hmm. I said, you lie. They said he was in a commercial. Yep. They <laughs> I said, that's my baby. Yep. Yep. <laughs> So yeah, they need to stop trying to, to suppress them and let them operate. Let them be. Let them operate in their purpose and their genius. Cause mm -hmm. that's what they are. Yep. That's exactly. I, I read, in fact, I think, I don't know this for sure, but I know medicine messes up people big time. So I think yeah. a lot of the time the medicine is the one that messes them up for me. That's all my, vaccines. Yeah, yeah, all the Ritalin and all that kind of stuff. Putting these kids and stuff on and, you know. Flu shot. Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> but so, I got it this year, so something happened to me. Call, call the folk. Oh, I'm called. So, um, 
real quick and we're gonna get up on out of here. Yeah, cause we ain't talking about everything. Yeah. How came Blake? We, we don't we, I don't yeah. even care no more. We, we thought we were talking about this one part. But we thought they were gonna squash that, but they didn't squash that. But uh during the midst of Cookie and Lucius arguing about this newfound information that he know about the condo, uh, Hakeem and what you call this arguing about who gonna keep the babies, ran into the feud with Cookie them, <laughs> and they going off, and then here come Bella around the corner with one of God doing Hakeem's gun. That's awesome. awesome. Da, 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 da. I said, oh, scared. I said, man, don't. I was like, no, she can't be the one that's in the cast because the cast was too big. I said, so is it Hakeem? But I'm like, did is she it? shoot one of them? Hakeem can actually go. I'm not even trying to be fun. I'm not trying to write you an unemployment check. Um, Hakeem, in the day your birthday, had birthday. <laughs> um, But he can go. I mean, he's really serving no purpose on this show other than. He's good one day, he can sing, the next day he popping off, he got a beef with this one, he beefing with his, with his baby, baby mama because like, they're not married. Nah. What are you doing? And then you got Coletto, what's that Coletto? Carmelito. Carmelito, yeah. He pissed off because he is, <laughs> he's playing Michelle to Beyonce and Kelly. Yep. And he feels like he's the top dog, so he don't even so want to I'm already doing good on SoundCloud. With, with Hakeem and what's the boy name? I keep wanting to say Mario, but that yeah. ain't his name on the show. <laughs> and I'm like, I, I don't get it. Yeah. I, 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 so Hakeem can go, Bella, go and pull the trigger, child. Do what you, <laughs> do what you gotta do. But what I'm still trying to figure out is, I don't want to talk about it too much because we still don't know what's going on. Did Cookie have an affair with, with old boy? Yeah, I was ready to bring that up. Yeah, because I, I didn't really bring it up because we don't know where that's going. She just had a flashback. And and, and we saw how they met. <clears throat> yeah. So, because you know, previous episodes that those pictures surfaced of them together. So, I we only got one more episode for the fall finale next week. So, uh, I, I'm mad that we done came through all these episodes and still don't know who in this motherfucking casket. I'm mad that every week we doing the goddamn Paul that do two what? steps forward, two steps back. We go together like opposites. When the hell seven. is when the hell is Nessa? I don't need it, it, it's been yeah yeah I mean I was I would get ready to say did somebody kill her but no no nah, they uh, killed Shine they killed Shine uh, yeah so yeah Nessa. Uh. Where Big Papa at? Yeah. Yeah, where would he go to? Cause you would think they'd be trying to pull him into the um the new family business. Yeah, I'm I'm done. I I, I really wanna see some good <clears throat> music. I mean hell yeah. is this a music cool show. I'm I'm sick of Kingsley can go. Yep. But next week we're gonna see that um old Giselle, she gonna out the whole thing. So we'll yeah. be back next week. Yeah, we see y'all next week straight from the VA. That dirty, dirty south. Two up, two down. Holla.